Good evening and welcome to the Root Family Auditorium here at the Museum of Arts and Sciences for what this year is a very different performance by the Smithsonian Jazz Masterworks Orchestra. Every year we look forward to their visit and this would have been the 10th year they'd be coming to Daytona Beach, but sadly circumstances are different this year and we're having to find new ways to do things. We think you're going to enjoy this, whether you're a regular at our Passport series, which this year will be your Passport to Home, or whether you're someone who comes to watch the jazz orchestra perform every year. This is a different way of doing it. Uh, we think you're going to enjoy it. We're going to have a good time regardless and really keep our fingers crossed that we'll be back together enjoying this in the auditorium this time next year. I would like to say a big thank you to our sponsors who make tonight's performance and presentation possible. Our presenting sponsors are B. Braun, Brown and Brown Insurance, and Lowell and Nancy Lohman. If you attended our virtual cocktail hour with myself and Ken Kimmery of the orchestra, our sponsor for that was Wright and KCPA. We also have sponsorships from Adams Cameron Foundation, Bill Chapin, Lentz Plastic Surgery, Jean and Diane Rogers, and Allison and Zach Zacharias. I really do want to take a moment to thank you for supporting us through these times. We're all trying to find ways to, to keep the museum serving the community as best we can, and your support means a lot to us. I really, really would like to thank the members of the Smithsonian Jazz Masterworks Orchestra. When we first realized we won't be able to bring them down this year, the first question they asked was, what can we do to help you? I think you'll really enjoy the performance they selected for us, and there are a few little special mentions in there and appearances by some faces I think you'll recognize straight away. Again, thank you so much for your support. Have a great time and enjoy the show. Greetings, my dear friends of Daytona Beach. My name is Ken Kimry, and I have the distinct honor in representing this ensemble you're about to hear as a program director for jazz at the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History. This year marks the 10th anniversary of our partnership with the Museum of Arts and Sciences and the Smithsonian Jazz Masterworks Ensemble. In acknowledgement of this milestone, I'd like to give a shout out to Executive Director Andy Sandel, Director of Marketing and Public Relations, Janelle Godina, and the entire museum staff for making this year's performance a reality during this challenging time we are all experiencing. The opening selection you're about to hear originally was recorded and penned by drummer percussionist Shelley Mann. Shelley's prolific career began during the heyday of New York City's 52nd Street and the budding period of bebop in the 1940s, followed by a stint with Stan Kenton's orchestra and then moved to Los Angeles in the 1950s to become one of the key contributors in the development of West Coast jazz. The selection we have chosen to perform for you is titled Grasshopper and comes from his recording West Coast Sound. Shelly Mann and his men. I do hope you enjoy.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Charlie Young from the Smithsonian Jazz Masterworks Orchestra. Sending warm greetings to Andy and all the gang at Daytona Beach's Museum of Arts and Sciences. You know, composed in 1941 in rebellion against the traditional representation of blacks in movies and musical theater, Duke Ellington composed a musical, Jump for Joy, which was, in his words, the first socially significant show. Now here from that show, is Ellington's I Got It Bad and That Ain't Good. Please enjoy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I got it bad and it ain't good. Thank you, folks. song goes, we'll be together again. Hi, I'm Tony Nalker, and this would have been my 10th year of coming to uh, your wonderful museum in Daytona Beach. And uh, we'll certainly miss seeing Andy, the fantastic staff, and of course the wonderful audiences that have uh, come to our concerts over the years. The piece that I'm introducing is uh, one by Oscar Peterson, a marvelous Canadian pianist, uh, and it's entitled Place Saint-Henri, and it's part of the Canadiana Suite. Enjoy!
Hi, this is Robert Bosma, director of bands at Spruce Creek High School. Last year, members of the Spruce Creek High School Jazz Band had the wonderful opportunity to attend a private clinic with members of the Smithsonian Jazz Masterworks Orchestra at the Museum of Arts and Sciences. The students performed some of their music that they were currently working on, and members of the Jazz Masterworks Orchestra worked with them uh, giving them feedback on their interpretation style and on their improvisation. The uh, students really enjoy getting that one-on-one -on -one feedback from the members of the Jazz Masterworks Orchestra, whether it be specific to their instrument like drums or saxophone. Uh, but the other thing that the students really enjoyed was the, the opportunity to have a connection with jazz history. All of the members of the Jazz Masterworks Orchestra uh, have uh, a, a great uh, amount of experience and uh, they were very free to share some of that experience with the students. Uh, and I re recall Professor Charlie Young uh, sharing some stories about iconic jazz uh, figures that, that he has performed with. And the students really enjoyed that, that connection to jazz history, knowing that they were in the same room that played with, with some of the jazz masters that they've been studying uh, throughout their whole uh, experience in, in school. So it was an amazing experience and the students really enjoyed it. And we all learned quite a bit. Unfortunately, this year, the Jazz Masterworks Orchestra won't be able to give a concert or uh, a clinic for us. Um, and so that's something that we're, we'll be looking forward to uh, experiencing in the future. But until then, we hope you enjoy seeing some highlights from last year's workshop. Thanks.
that was quite an experience. Yeah, that was probably one of the most fun times I've ever had. I mean, I was a little, we were both a little nervous at first, but then like we started realizing they've been doing this for a really long time and like we quickly adjusted to it and it just sounded so great. It, yeah, it was cool playing with musicians that like really play off of you. Like, you don't feel like you're alone when you're playing with musicians like them, where they're really backing you up. Yeah, they were, I mean, they were all really great musicians. They all communicated really well and they sounded like one unit. And that's something like our band directors and all these educators stress to us a lot. And that's what they did when we, when the whole band was here on Friday. And I feel like I really learned a lot from them. Greetings Daytona friends. Our next selection will be a version of a composition written by the bassist Ray Brown. Ray Brown was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania on October 13, 1926. He's known for his work with Oscar Peterson, Ella Fitzgerald, Dizzy Gillespie, and hundreds of studio recordings throughout his career. The title of this composition is Lined with a Groove which made his debut in 1965 on the Verve record label, it was a big band studio recording featuring Ray Brown and Milt Jackson. It was conducted and arranged by Oliver Nelson and Jimmy Heap. Enjoy. Thank you. 
Andy Sandel and all of our friends at the Daytona Museum of Arts and Sciences. I hope you're all doing well at this difficult time. I'm Chuck Redd, and it was such a pleasure to perform there a few years back with the Smithsonian Jazz Masterworks Ensemble. The next composition you'll hear is one by the great Milt Jackson, uh, one of my primary influences on the vibraphone and certainly one of the great jazz musicians of all time. This is called For Someone I Love. I hope you'll enjoy this lovely ballad as much as I enjoyed playing it for you. Thank you. 
name is Marty Ashby. I'm the guitarist with the Smithsonian Group. And I want to say hello to everybody in Daytona Beach and all the folks at the museum. We had such a spectacular time when I was there a few years ago playing this music you're hearing tonight. And uh, hopefully you're enjoying it all over again uh, from the concert we did here in Pittsburgh. Uh, the piece we're about to play is called Vicky's Dream. And it's written by the great guitarist Barney Kessel. He wrote it in 1954. Um, it's based on the, the harmony, the chord changes to all the things you are, the great jazz standard. And he wrote this very complicated melody over the top that you're about to hear. Thanks to Charlie Young, our artistic director, for putting this tune in the set list. As you'll see, we all had to work really hard to learn this piece and had a lot of fun with it. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, hope we are all able to be together again soon. Thanks very much.
thank you all for joining us for this evening's program. I do hope that you enjoyed the performance of the Smithsonian Jazz Masterworks Ensemble and look forward to seeing you next September at the Museum of Arts and Sciences. Please do take time to schedule a visit to the museum to see its incomparable artifacts, world-class exhibitions, and knowledgeable and friendly staff. Until we see each other again, please do take care of yourself and be well. <music>